Every golfer has a unique and individual golf life. This show aims to help improve your own golf life. Today on Golf Life, we bring you a wealth of golf instruction aimed to help you today to get ready for the golf season. Top teacher Mike Malaska joins us. Plus, we get some off-season drills to strengthen your swing. We'll help your putting with some drills from the Champions Tour and learn about an alternative putting design that's helping many golfers. Let's kick off Golf Life with an inside look at one of the original American golf companies. Let's head to Ping in Phoenix, Arizona for a look at how they hand build a set of custom irons. We have Pete Samuels here from Ping. We're inside Ping, right? People buy their club, custom fit. We build them here right in the headquarters. Tell me about the process. Exactly, so we uh, have our fitters out around the world. They go out, fit people. They send the orders into us. We create what we call a work order. We also call this the birth certificate because this gives us all the details, all the specifications for this particular set of irons. So let's take a look and see how we really custom build clubs. It all starts with the work order, and what this work order tells us is everything about that particular set of irons. So the first thing we do is we look at the work order, and it tells us it's a set of G irons, four through nine pitching wedge. So the team here will go to these boxes, pull four through nine pitching wedge of the G iron, and then they'll start the process. The first thing they do is they're gonna paint the color code dot, which is the lie angle. Uh, many years ago, Karsten Solheim brought custom fitting to the game of golf, and he introduced the ping color code chart, which includes now 12 different color codes which correspond to the lie angle of the club. Behind us, we have the serial number process. You know, back in the day, Karsten Solheim had this unique plan. And this is unique to Ping. Very unique, yeah. Karsten started this back in the 1970s. So way back then, he realized what a great value a serial number could offer to a set of clubs because it allows us to keep a record of all the specifications of that particular set of irons or whatever it might be. First, we got the work order right. Now we yep. got the serial number. Now we're into a cell where the club is actually built. Exactly. This is where it really becomes a golf club, right? Up until now, we've had a head, we've had shafts, and we've got grips. Now we're going to make it into a golf club. What happens here is the first thing they do is they're going to shaft it, right? They're going to put the head onto the shaft, and then it's going to work its way around the entire cell. It's going to come out the other end, finish in a box, ready for shipment to the consumer. So it's very easy. You're just going down and you're coming back. Exactly. It's a big U shape, okay? So every part of the iron assembly process and calibration takes place in here. Now, Pete, walking around here, you see a lot of advanced technology, a lot of machines that are advanced. Um, I'm pretty sure you can't find these at a store down the street, right? <laughs> That's right. So when you look at our process, it's, it's very unique. It's custom, as we've talked about. So in order to perform a lot of the operations we need to build a golf club, we had to invent and create the machines ourselves. And this goes back to Carson's day. So when he came up with his, his idea for how a golf club should be made, he created the tools, the machines, and the processes to execute on his vision. So we very much follow that philosophy today. Pete, we know these clubs are working. A little birdie tells me there's like some sort of vault here that we can go take a look at. Well, the, the clubs do work very well um, as we see on a daily basis, both with uh, consumers and tour professionals. So we do have a little evidence that they they work really well for tour pros. We're going to take a look at the Ping Gold Putter Vault, which shows just how many uh, professionals have won with a Ping Putter over the years. So Pete, we made the club. We know these clubs are working. You brought us to this amazing room right now filled with gold clubs. 
What is this all about? Well, the history of this particular room dates back to Karsten Solheim's days. And um, in the early 1970s, he was looking for a way to acknowledge professionals that had won with his putter. So keep in mind, this is early 70s. Ping is starting to become a major player uh, in the putter market. A lot of tour players using Ping putters, a lot of tour players winning with Ping putters. So Karsten wanted to acknowledge them in a unique way. He didn't want to just write them a check, which was sort of the norm back then, like, here's $500, here's $1,000, thanks. He came up with this idea of gold putters. So uh, what he did is when there was a win, he would make two gold-plated replicas of the model used by the professional, uh, built to the exact specs. But what he did is he engraved the, the player's name and the name of the tournament and the year um, that they won on the putter, made two of them, gave one to the player as a keepsake, put another one. Back then it was in his closet, believe it or not, but it's grown, the closet has grown into this vault. So it's a tradition that started way back in the 70s, one we're very proud of, and our goal is to add putters every weekend if possible. That means we're winning, so that's a good thing. Well, thank you for letting us come into this room. Uh, I know not many people get to see and hear and, and look at all these amazing putters, so we appreciate this amazing experience. You're very welcome. We're glad you got to see it and glad to get to have you share with all your viewers because we wish everybody could come see it, but that's not possible today, maybe someday. There you go. Thank you very much. Top teacher Mike Malaska joins Golf Life to help you with your golf swing in a moment. One moment changes everything. Distance, precision, decided in a microsecond. So reduce your ball spin and get the most performance at impact with four yards more. A next-gen golf tee proven by pros and players like you. The unique durable design flexes at contact, reducing ball spin, giving you tighter control and more distance. So change your game and get four yards more. Brought to you by Greenkeepers. Golf smart. The Cure has just been a total opposite change of all these other putters. And I mean, you could tell it right away when you first start using it. First time I hit that putter, I nailed nine out of 10 back to back. The ball comes off the face just so soft and it just feels like it's starting to roll immediately. Came off the putter very softly. There was a lot of great feel with the putter. When you get this ball on track, it's going in the hole every time. The way that the weight is spread out so well between the heel and the toe, it has a, a tremendous MOI. Even if you miss hit a little bit off the center of the club face, you get a really true roll. Your distance control is a lot better. First week, over seven players took this putter and put it in play on the Champions Tour. That putter is just crazy good. The cure is the cure. Learn more at CurePutters.com and as a special offer for Golf Life viewers, save $25 on any putter when you enter code GOLFLIFE25 at checkout. Your short game, shots from bunkers, or rough around the green, these are the shots that allow you to score and enjoy the game. The hybrid wedge solution from Blackmagic makes all these shots automatic. Use our patented face-forward hybrid wedges to hit perfect approach shots. Hit the ball higher from the fairway, the sand, and the rough. To order your hybrid wedge now, visit us at hwedge.com or call 877-799-6099. Order now at hwedge.com. Welcome back to Golf Life, your golf lifestyle show. Golf Life is sponsored in part by Cure Putters. Get your hands on the putter that resists twisting like no other and creates a smooth and consistent roll every time. Learn more at cureputters.com and by Golf Skate Caddy, the original stand-up golf cart. Ask your course today for a GSC test drive and see for yourself what everyone is talking about. More fun, more players, more golf. Visit GolfSkateCaddy.com. We take you back to Phoenix, Arizona for a golf lesson with top teacher Mike Malaska. We're gonna talk about a perception in golf, what people are trying to do. It has to do with lag, it has to do with a lot of things, but there's there's one big concept that what I have seen has really hurt people. In fact, it really hurt me. When you swing a golf club, when the club gets to the top of your swing, this driver, for instance, when it's up here, it only weighs about 12, 14 ounces. The problem is, as soon as that club starts down, it gains in weight and force. 
And so what's happening is as you start down, this club's getting heavier and heavier, and it doesn't want to go out towards the ball. It wants to fall back behind you. So really, a golf swing is about all these offsetting forces. What you see in a golf swing from a video are effects. So what do you have to feel like to make a swing work? If I take this basket, this, this balls here, and I put it on this club, there's about five pounds there. Now, if I put that up there, when you start a club down, the minute it starts down, it gains in weight and force. In fact, a driver, by the time it's waist high, weighs about 20 pounds of force. And that force, gravity, is going straight down. It doesn't want to go out. So what you actually have to do to make this club work, what you have to feel like you're doing, when you're at the top of your swing, when you start down, you have to feel like the handle of the club is coming down and you have to feel like the club head is working out. It's, it's like a steering wheel on a car and this is a car and it's going around a corner. You have to start to turn the wheel before you get to the corner. If you waited until you got to the corner and you turned the wheel, you'd go right into the wall. Okay, so you're up here, you're starting down, the weight of the club wants to go this way. You're trying to turn it the other way. Because of the physiology in your body, those two things match out. So they balance each other out. So all of a sudden, you get into this position that everybody wants to get into. But you're not trying to get there. In fact, you're trying to feel like you're out here. You see a lot of tour players now making practice swings where they get up here and they're doing this. And people are saying, well, they're coming over the top. No, they're not. They're making a practice swing that's gonna offset those forces so the momentum of the club is in the correct arc. So, a good way to practice this. If you just get a tennis racket, you don't have to put a handle on it, just a tennis racket. And you set up to the ball, and you get up to the top of your swing. Now, this is, this is a tennis racket or, or a steering wheel on a car. Here's the car. So as you start down, you're taking this car and you're turning the corner and you're turning that corner into the ball. It has nothing to do with unhinging your wrist. So this is what a lot of people describe as release. You know, they say they're releasing the club. Well, they're making this move. They're not making this move. They're not unhinging their wrist. So you're taking this, you start down, you turn the weight of the club out in front of you, and now that weight of that club's coming over the top of your hands from inside the target line. So you're basically over the top from the inside. Now, if you put me on a video and I make that practice swing, and then you put me on a video and you watch my swing when I actually hit it, they don't even look close to the same. The biggest thing I've learned in 40 years of teaching this game, golf swing's invisible. You can't see it. What you have to feel like you're doing to make all these things show up that people want, it's not exactly that particular thing. There's multiple effects and multiple forces go in different directions. Try that little drill. I know you're going to get more control of the club, you get a lot more speed, and you hit the ball in the fairway. Now we head out to the PGA Champions Tour, where top player Rod Spittle shows us a putting drill he does using his Cure Putter. Hi, good morning. This is Rod Spittle, the PGA Champions Tour. We're here this week in Tucson, and I've got a couple little putting tips uh, that may help some of the folks at home. Uh, the drill that I use all the time in my practice is a little thing with putts that are two, four, and six feet from the hole. I try to find a straight putt, usually uphill, and real simple, just try to knock them all in the hole. It, uh, in addition to working on my stroke, it also reinforces the fact that I get to see the ball go in the hole three times. And one other thing that I've done on top of that, and everybody's got their, their ways that they like to mark the ball, uh, and for the longest time, you know, I have used the black line on my ball, but just recently I've changed to putting a red dot right on top to narrow that focus just a little bit more and I've done my homework in the putting studio to know that it helps keep my head just a little more still for a fraction of a second. And again, just the same simple drill. Come and hit three putts. It's always great to see the ball go in the hole. I've got my red dot on there to keep my eyes just a little quieter. And there we go, three for three. Again, as everybody knows, there's lots of great putters in the marketplace. 
And one of the, the most drastic changes, I think, that's probably come along in the last four or five years, again, it's kind of ironic, here we are in Tucson this week, which, which has great history. Obviously, the regular tour played here for a long time. You know, probably the most drastic change in clubs, the last one is, is with the putters, because most players are still playing with a blade that's four or four and a half inches wide. Uh, it's just kind of like tennis rackets, you know, versus 20 years ago. Tennis rackets today are 50% bigger than they were uh, not too long ago. And the reason for that is to, to build, you know, is to have a piece of equipment that's as stable as possible coming back to make impact with either a tennis ball, obviously, or a golf ball. The folks at Cure have done the exact same thing. They have blades that are five, five and a half, and six inches wide to spread out the mass of that putter the moment of inertia, which is just a fancy term for how much twisting the putter goes through, is four or five times more stable than a regular putter. So I've used this one for almost two years now. Uh, it's helped me immensely out here. And again, if folks at home are looking for, for a change and something new to try, uh, I would strongly encourage them to look at a Cure Putter. Learn more at CurePutters.com. And as a special offer for Golf Life viewers, Save $25 on any putter when you enter code GOLFLIFE25 at checkout. When Golf Life returns, we give you a golf swing routine you can do at home or prior to your next round. Want to get better at golf today? H wedges are designed to help improve your short game right away. You'll hit it closer to the pin and recover from bunkers and deep rough. And H wedges come in multiple lofts for your complete short game. If you've seen gimmick glide sole wedges sold on TV, they're not USGA legal. The H-Wedge patented face-forward hybrid design is approved by the USGA. Order a set of our hybrid wedges today, risk-free. With our love it or return it policy, the only thing you lose is strokes around the greens. Visit hwedge.com and have more fun at golf with a set of H-Wedges control the greens much easier with this club, much easier out of the sand or in the short. When I'm in the bunker and I play out of the sand, I didn't miss it. It went exactly where I wanted it to go. Speak with us now at 877-799-6099 or visit hwedge.com. Order now and get free shipping with code GOLFLIFE. Visit hwedge.com. Sit tight, you're on the back nine with Golf Life in a moment. Welcome back to Golf Life, sponsored by Orange Whip Trainer, the number one swing trainer with golf teachers and PGA professionals, plus number one golf swing tool on the PGA Tour. Get your Orange Whip and start grooving your swing at orangewhiptrainer.com. And by Four Yards More, a unique golf tee that reduces spin and gives you more distance. Get Four Yards More golf tees at fouryardsmore.com. Here's some advice from top teacher Jim Hackenberg to help strengthen your golf swing. Hi, I'm Jim Hackenberg, PGA professional, developer of the Orange Whip, and I've got a lesson for you. Prior to playing golf, we need to loosen up and get our muscles ready for that game that day. Also, a lot of us golfers are stuck in snow country and we don't get to play for five, six months. But there's a few drills I have today that I can show you with the Orange Whip that will keep your muscles ready for golf, be it in season or in the off season. I want to start with what I call the torso twist. I get into an athletic stance. I actually extend my arms in this position with my palms facing the sky and I hold the orange whip. I'm going to rotate my torso, but watch my feet. The feet are the crucial element. I'm going to push with my left foot and then my right, left, right. The purpose of this is so that I can loosen up my feet, my ankles, my knees, my hips, and my back, and I'm also using the ground as the force to make this rotation. I recommend doing that drill about 10 to 15 swings to get loose and find that rhythm. Secondly, we're gonna work on the hinging forearm rotation. I'm gonna take the orange whip, I'm gonna slide my hand down to the bottom of the grip, place it in just one hand, in the fingers of one hand with a thumb on top. I will tilt into my golf stance and let my arms hang freely. I will start by pushing the orange whip forward and allowing it to swing back and forth. Notice how my forearm is slightly rotating and notice how my wrist is hinging and unhinging naturally. This is a training motion to develop that proper hinging and unhinging of the wrist. If you look closely, this is really looks like a forehand in tennis and a backhand. So I make it very much like that, it's a, it's a tennis motion. So with these first two drills, I've loosened up my lower body 
and I've loosened up my wrist, my forearm, and my shoulder. Well, let's put it all together into what is our actual full golf swing. So I'll get into my address position, hover the orange whip, start very slowly back and forth. Allow my wrist to hinge to support the whip here and here. Once I get it moving, I can power it up to create speed that's in balance. Now we've been warming up with the orange whip, training these muscles, but let's transfer over to a golf club because that's where we're going with this. We want to improve our golf game. I will take this driver, I'll get into my address position, and as you can tell, it's a different object than the orange whip. It's not as flexible and it's quite a bit lighter. So for me to recalibrate this motion, I've got to start slow and build it up. So now I've got the same feeling I had with the orange whip, but let's put a couple of individual swings in here. Because this is what it's gonna feel like when I'm on the golf course. I'll do one more. All right, my golf swing's now recalibrated. Everything's in balance, I've got a nice rhythm. I'm ready to go play golf. But if you're in cold country, you wanna be doing this to get ready for the spring. If you do these drills every day, Springtime will be a breeze when you get on that golf course. It'll be like you're in mid-season form. So get yourself to orangewhiptrainer.com for more information and to get an orange whip and have a great summer. Please stay tuned. When we return to Golf Life, we'll introduce you to a new design in putters that may help your game. One moment changes everything. Distance, precision, decided in a microsecond. So reduce your ball spin and get the most performance at impact with four yards more. A next-gen golf tee proven by pros and players like you. The unique durable design flexes at contact, reducing ball spin, giving you tighter control and more distance. So change your game and get four yards more. Brought to you by Greenkeepers. Golf smart. The cure has just been a total opposite change of all these other putters. and. I mean, you could tell it right away when you first start using it. First time I hit that putter, I nailed nine out of 10 back to back. The ball comes off the face, just so soft, and it just feels like it's starting to roll immediately. Came off the putter very softly. There was a lot of great feel with the putter. When you get this ball on track, it's going in the hole every time. The way that the weight is spread out so well between the heel and the toe, it has a, a tremendous MOI. Even if you miss hit a little bit off the center of the club face, you get a really true roll. Your distance control is a lot better. First week, over seven players took this putter and put it in play on the Champions Tour. That putter is just crazy good. The cure is the cure. Learn more at cureputters.com. And as a special offer for Golf Life viewers, save $25 on any putter when you enter code GOLFLIFE25 at checkout. Your short game, shots from bunkers, or rough around the green, these are the shots that allow you to score and enjoy the game. The hybrid wedge solution from Blackmagic makes all these shots automatic. Use our patented face-forward hybrid wedges to hit perfect approach shots. Hit the ball higher from the fairway, the sand, and the rough. To order your hybrid wedge now, visit us at hwedge.com or call 877-799-6099. Order now at hwedge.com. Welcome back to Golf Life. Golf Life is sponsored in part by Holder Golf. Learn why the Holder Putter is a common sense alternative to the traditional putter. Visit holdergolf.com. Plus, enter code GOLFLIFE to save 10% and get a Holder Putter risk-free. And by HWedge designed to help everyone improve their short game immediately. Hybrid wedges help you hit more greens. With our money-back guarantee, all you'll lose is strokes around the green. Visit hwedge.com and enter code GOLFLIFE to get free shipping. Now we take you out to Orlando, Florida, where Golf Life caught up with the founder of Holder Golf, James Holder. We wanted to learn how an alternative design could possibly help people improve their stroke and make more putts. Basically, a good putting stroke is any stroke that can consistently bring the putter face back to square at impact. Of course, that's easier said than done because what you have to be able to do is, is with precision, somehow control the muscles in your hands, your wrists, your arms, your shoulders, even your back, and eliminate even the slightest unnecessary twisting and turning of the club face through impact. For many of us, the setup of the traditional putter makes that more difficult. So we've resorted to alternative methods of putting, like 
altering our grip or anchoring the stroke in some way. Anything that we can do to stabilize those muscles through the stroke does seem to help, but it also takes away that natural free-flowing stroke that is essential to being a really great putter. So at Holder Golf, we took a different approach to stabilize those muscles, and it really it starts with our grip. Our grip naturally aligns the palm of your hand to sit square to the face of the putter. What that does is give you a great orientation, a great reference point, both at address and through impact. If you can get the palm of your hand back to square at impact, you know that the face of the putter is gonna be square. We also took the traditional 72 degree lie angle, which, which actually forces your, your hands, your wrists, and your arms into unstable and weak positions. And by flattening the lie of the putter, we straighten all those angles out, putting them in the strongest, most stable position that they can be in. So by, by simplifying the setup of the putter, we simplified the stroke. And with a simpler stroke, you're gonna make more putts. The biggest response I get is how easy it is uh, for long putts. Because it, the stroke is so stable and, and the, the putter is made in a way that stabilizes your arms and, and your hands, the, the longer strokes, which are more difficult with a traditional putter, become a lot easier with the, the flatter lie holder golf putter. If you want to find out more about the Holder Golf Putter, you can visit us at holdergolf.com. We have a 30-day money-back guarantee, so if you want to try it for 30 days, go out on the course, give it a try. If you don't like it, you can send it back, and we'll give your money back, even the shipping. Thanks for watching Golf Life. Do you want more video tips and advice you can watch on your phone or tablet? Make sure you visit golflife.com for a wealth of golf videos, news, and reviews. You can also follow us on Twitter at Golf Life or facebook.com forward slash golf life for daily videos and articles. I'm Kate Collins. Look for Golf Life next week on this channel.